Hi there, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a half face typographic effect like this using Canva. I'm going to walk you through everything step by step, so let's jump right in. Open Canva and then go to create a design. And I'm going to use this presentation size, so go ahead, that is 16 to 9 aspect ratio. And then I'll go to text and then pick at the heading and then type my text. In this case, I want to type King of the Jungle. So I want to use a lion, so I'm going to use this and I'll break my text into separate lines. Okay, so this is what I'm going to have and I'm going to align everything to left. So I want to get something like this and that is it. We want to actually make sure this font is bold. So I'm going to highlight everything, go to my font and then look for something bold. So I'm going to use this particular font and also for the spacing I'm going to the line spacing I'm going to close it a bit and then I can still go ahead and enlarge this so I'll still reposition my text I want it to completely align to the left now go to elements and it says for shape remember you can also use shortcut to create shape by pressing the R key so I'm going to use this shape So I'll enlarge it to make sure it covers my text. Change the background to black and then right click and then move it behind everything. And now I'm going to highlight my text and then make sure I change my text color to white. So you should be getting something like this, which is perfect, which is exactly what I want. If you don't mind, you want to close the space and you can still work on that. So let's download this, go to share download this as a png file okay so after downloading this we're going to upload it back but i'll add a new page so i'll go ahead and add it back to canva just upload it back to canva like that So my, I'll add my text to my screen and then what we want to do is that go to BG Remover and remove the background. Okay, so you should have something like this. You may not see any effect but actually we remove the background. Go to element and search for lion head. So I'm going to search for lion head and go to graphics. I'll use this particular one so select and then resize this. Now what I want to do is that I'm going to put it behind everything. So right click, go to layer and then send to backwards. So it should be getting something like this. I'm going to reduce the size a bit. And for my text, what I want to do is I'm going to rather enlarge my text. Okay, I'm going to enlarge my text like this. Okay. So select your text and go to edit. And then scroll down under effect, go to dual tone and then go to custom and then for the shadow make sure you set it to white so it's going to give you something like this and that is it we are not done yet so make sure you resize this a bit so i'm going to close this a bit and also do something like this now we want to make part of this text to appear we want to include some part of this text so what we'll do is that let's go back to shape and then pick our rectangular shape, the previous rectangular shape we used here. I'm going to resize it this way. We are going to place it behind everything to make part of our text to appear or make it visible. So select that and then we can pick any of these colors and then right click here, go to layer and then let's send it to back. So you can see part of our text will actually appear will be very visible. But we need to improve on this and make it look more professional. Okay, so this is actually going to be like this. Okay, so with the new background we are adding, we need to make sure this will not appear. Okay, so we need to actually make sure this will not appear. I need to make sure my E is going to appear as well. So I should be getting something like this. So you can see at the moment, everything is now making sense. So we now have the king of the jungle, the half typo effect, everything has been generated. So basically, 
this is how to go about it you can actually select everything and then just try to enlarge this you can do this for just in the image you can do it for your own image and that is basically how to go about it to do text effect using canva i'll be doing more videos like this so remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials if you don't want to if you want to animate this also you can select everything and then you go to animate option then you can pick any animation of your choice so you can see uh, there are plenty of animations that you can play with so basically this is how to create it and this is the concept when you are done you want this as image you can just go to share and then go to download and then you can download it as any image of your choice so when you are done with everything this is the final work you get like this thank you so much for watching this short tutorial till i come away again not only subscribe bye bye